If you had two parallel plates, and you would bring those plates closely together, and suppose they had a potential difference of 300 volts, then you would reach an electric field of 3 million volts per meter when the distance d is about one-tenth of a millimeter. So that's when you expect spontaneous discharge between these two plates. In practice, however, it probably will happen when the plates are further apart than one-tenth of a millimeter. And the reason for that is that there is no such thing as perfect plates. The plates have imperfections. That means there are always areas on the plate which are not flat, but are a little bit like what you see there. Small radius, and that's of course where the electric field then will be larger, and that's where the discharge will occur first. However, if you touch the door knob and you get a spark, you feel a spark, and you look at the spark, and you see that when you're three millimeters away from the door knob that the spark develops, you can s pretty sure that the potential difference between you and the door was of the order of 10,000 volts, several thousand volts at least, because over three millimeters it requires 10,000 volts to get to three million volts per meter. When you comb your hair, or when you take your shirt off, you get little sparks, you can hear them, and if it's dark you can see them, and you can be sure that at the sharp ends of this hair, of the fabric, that you have developed electric fields of the order of three million volts per meter, and then you get the automatic breakdown. Now, of course, high voltage alone doesn't necessarily kill you. What, what, what matters is not so much the voltage to get killed, but it's the current that goes through you. And current is charge per unit time. And so in SI units, it would be coulombs per second, for which we write a capital A, which stands for Ampere, the man who did a tremendous amount of research in this area, Frenchman. And so if you touch the doorknob, the instantaneous current may actually be quite high, maybe an ampere even, but it may only last for one millisecond. And so that's not going to kill you. We all know that when you comb your hair that you don't die, and we also know that when you take your shirt off, even though you may hear the sparks, that that's not lethal. So maybe in a future lecture we can discuss in some more details what it does take to actually execute someone electrically, which is very unpleasant, but nevertheless, we would have to evaluate how long the current should last, how strong the current should be, and then also during which parts of the body the current would cause lethal reactions.